Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again, and welcome to the top 10 best movies of 2016. People, we're already at this point. We're already at this point. But how in the world are we already at this point where I have to do my best movies of 2016 list? This year went by fast, and what a somewhat good year it was for movies. At least I think. I think it was a somewhat good year for movies, you know? It wasn't like 2015 where we just had non-stop stinkers after stinkers after stinkers. No, this was actually somewhat of a pretty good year, at least in my eyes. I really enjoyed a lot of the movies that I saw in 2016. And I thought it was a pretty good year for movies. So, yeah, now it's time for the somewhat after Christmas um, tradition, I guess, now for my channel. As we talk about the top 10 best movies of 2016. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into the list people shall we begin so first before we get into the actual top 10 list i have a few honorable mentions here we go kung fu panda 3 justice league versus teen titans hush triple nine finding dory the shallows suicide squad don't breathe the magnificent seven arrival eddie the eagle kubo and the two strings uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane, The Jungle Book, and Star Trek Beyond. Those are my honorable mentions for my top 10 best movies of 2016. So, let's get right into the number 10 spot. And my number 10 is... The Nice Guys. Man, The Nice Guys. What a funny and awesome detective comedy. Seriously. How did this movie not get enough love at the box office. Seriously, I know critics loved it, but uh, how come this movie didn't make as much money as it did? It should have, seriously, because this movie is so funny. Like, I was gut-busting laughing at some points. Like, seriously, there are some hilarious moments in this film. I absolutely love this movie. There are some just downright hilarious moments in this film. I thought Ryan Gosling and uh, Russell Crowe had amazing chemistry. Seriously, they might have been the best duo of the year. Seriously, they were absolutely incredible to watch on screen together. I love their chemistry with each other in this film. I thought the little girl stole the entire... Basically, she kind of stole the entire show. Seriously, she did an absolutely incredible job. I thought the whole detective situation was great. I was very invested in that. The action sequences were filmed so well. It was directed by Shane Black. And the dude knows how to direct action scenes. He really does. And he did a really great job with this movie. I think this is his best movie to date, to be honest. I have seen Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I honestly think this is a bit better than that. He just did an absolutely incredible job with this movie. And I absolutely loved it. So, that's why the nice guys come in at number 10. Number 9. This is one of the two animated films to make my list. And it is... Zootopia. Zootopia. Disney, know, Disney knows how to make anime films. I'm not the first person to tell you this. Come on now. Seriously, they do. And Zootopia is another example of that. Zootopia is an absolutely fantastic animated film. It really is. I absolutely loved it. I thought the animation was beautiful with this movie. I absolutely loved the animation with this film. Um, I thought the voice acting was great. Jason Bateman was fantastic in the movie. I thought Jason Bateman was absolutely incredible. I thought uh, Jennifer Goodwin was really good as well. I really enjoyed her. I thought their chemistry with each other was great as well. It was great watching them on screen. So yeah, the writing is absolutely brilliant with this movie. I absolutely love the writing with Zootopia. And I just love how it touches on issues that we kind of have in the real world today. And just a, you know, and just a little kid's animated film, you know what I mean? And it's just great, and it makes it smart, it makes it great for adults as well. And I absolutely love that with Zootopia. So yeah, Zootopia is an absolutely fantastic animated film, and it comes at number 9. Number 8. The second animated film to make the list, and it's not the one you show kids. Number 8 is... Sausage Party. Oh man, Sausage Party. This is my this is my favorite animated film of the year. I might be the only one to say that, but my goodness, Sausage Party 
wow. Just, just, they go all out with this movie. Seriously, they go all out with this movie. They do not hold back with anything. They just go all out with it. And that's why I love it. They hold no bars. They hold no bars, no boundaries towards anything. They make fun of every religion, every race. They make fun of everything in this movie. And you want to know something? It works. It seriously does. It works with every joke that they make in this movie. It's downright hilarious. The animation was actually really good too. I actually really liked the animation with the film. I thought all the voice acting was great too. And an all-star cast really. And I thought just everyone did a fantastic job. Seth Rogen, Chris, uh, Kristen Wiig, um, John Hill, Edward Norton. Just everybody was great in the movie. I very much enjoyed everyone in the film. So yeah, the voice acting was great, the animation was really good, the comedy works, like about 95% of the comedy works in the film. Seriously, the comedy is absolutely hysterical in this movie. I was literally dying of laughter. So yeah, my number 8 is Sausage Party, my favorite animated film of the year. Number 7, it's been a real long time since a horror film has made anywhere near my top 10 list. But this year was a good year, year for horror films. And this is the prime example of them. My number seven is The Conjuring 2. And you thought the first movie was scary? Oh boy, you've seen nothing yet. Goodness, this second movie was terrifying. Like, the first movie was terrifying too, but this second one was just on another level of, like, terrifyingness, okay? Seriously, this movie was terrifying. I just was shaking in my socks while watching this. Seriously, it was just such a terrifying movie to watch. Um, the scares work absolutely fantastic. 100%. This movie scares the living life out of me. I couldn't sleep after watching this movie. Seriously, I really couldn't. I couldn't sleep after watching this movie because how much it did scare me. Seriously, it's a scary movie. You know... And the voice, and the, the voice acting, the acting was absolutely incredible in this movie. I thought the acting was great. Uh, Vera Farmiga was great. Patrick Wilson was great as well. So yeah, the acting was fantastic in the movie. Um, James Wan knows how to direct horror films. Seriously, this dude knows how to direct a horror movie. I, I really hope he, I, of course he's not going to just stick to horror, but... Hopefully he does just do a lot more horror films because it's seriously where he's at in his Wilhelm house and he does an absolutely fantastic job with it. So yeah, The Conjuring 2 is an absolutely fantastic horror film. It's by far the best horror movie of 2016 in my opinion, of course. There was no other horror film that scared me out of my boots like this movie. So yeah, The Conjuring 2 comes in at number 7. Number 6, oh man, you know, we got a movie about... We got a movie about a guy who's stranded on an island, and he uses a farting dead corpse like a Swiss Army knife. But the movie turns into a beautiful movie about friendship. Number six is Swiss Army Man. You know, going into this movie, I thought I was going to experience the weirdest thing. I was looking forward to it, but I was I was going to experience one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my life. And I did, but in a good way. This movie is absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely hilarious, this film. I thought the comedy worked in this movie 100%. I was seriously dying of laughter with this movie. I thought the comedy worked a lot in this film. I thought the performances were great. Uh, you know, with Paul Dano and Daniel Radcliffe, I thought they were absolutely fantastic. They give some of the best performances of their careers, in my opinion. I thought they did an absolutely great job in the film. Like I said, I love the beautiful message about friendship in this movie. You know, I absolutely love that message. You know, just a beautiful message about friendship. And they do an absolutely great job with that in the film. But the directing was great with the movie. It's directed by two Daniels. And they do an absolutely great job directing the film. This was definitely one of the best directed films of the year. And yeah, I just absolutely loved Swiss Army Man. It's an absolutely fantastic movie. If you have not seen it, this is one of those movies you just have to watch just to watch. You know, no one explains the plot to you, just watch it. And Swiss Army Man was an absolutely fantastic movie. I absolutely loved it. And it comes in at number six. Number five. Coming in at number five on my top ten best movies of 2016 list is 
a superhero movie and this is one of the three superhero movies to make my top 10 best list and this is one of them and it is Doctor Strange Doctor Strange man man I absolutely loved Doctor Strange this is one of Marvel's best movies to date they really did an absolutely great job with Doctor Strange I I loved it it's such an incredible movie you know, I love what they did with the whole sorcery and magic and all that. Like, what they did with all the sorcery stuff was absolutely great. It was so engaging to watch on screen, you know, with the whole sorcery and magic. I absolutely loved that. And it was very unique as well, and it was very different. I thought the acting was incredible, too. I thought Ben and Cumberbatch was great. Tilda Swinton was great. Uh, Julia Tell, Edgy Ford was great. Mads Mikkelsen was great as the villain. So, yeah, the acting was great overall. I thought the action scenes were fantastic with the movie. I thought this movie had well-filmed action scenes, especially towards the end. It was a very different ending from most superhero movies, and I actually gladly appreciate that. So, yeah, not every superhero movie needs to have a beam in the sky, seriously. But anyways, num but Doctor Strange is one of those movies that I feel like is just such an awesome, unique superhero film, and it's great. I absolutely loved it, so yeah. Coming in at number five is Doctor Strange. Coming in at number four, we're getting into my top four, the four movies. The four movies I gave an A plus to this year. I only gave four movies an A plus. What? So yeah, here we go. Coming in at number four is a movie that I kind of was expecting to like, but I didn't expect it to love it this much. Number four is Deep Water. Horizon. Whoo! This was more intense than any horror film I think I have seen all year. In terms of intensity, yeah, there's no way. Seriously, this movie had me on the edge of my seat for the entirety of it. I was scared. Like, seriously, I was scared for these people because this is based on a true event. This is based on a true story. This actually happened to people. And just watching it on screen was absolutely mesmerizing to watch. Like, I wouldn't say mesmerizing, but absolutely just in, intent, intense to watch, seriously. It, it was a really intense movie, and I thought Mark Wahlberg gave one of the best performances, as, but that, one of the best performances of his career. He was absolutely fantastic in the movie. I thought the rest of the acting was great, too. So yeah, I thought Deep Water Horizon was an absolutely fantastic movie, and definitely deserves my number four spot. Number three. Kind of another movie, I didn't expect really, kind of too much going into it, like I was expecting maybe to like it, but man did this movie live up to the hype. Number three, Hell or High Water. Hell or High Water, man, uh, talk about a movie that doesn't need any action scenes, or any like big explosions, oh, you, although you do get one or two of those in here, but for the majority of it, it's just kind of a calm movie about characters. Sort of, you know what I mean? It's just a movie about characters. And I love that. And how they do that in this movie is absolutely fantastic. And the writing is absolutely fantastic. This is one of the best screenplays. This might be the best screenplay of the year. Seriously. Just the way they flesh out these characters and the dialogue that they're given is absolutely fantastic. Chris Pine is probably gives the best performance of his career in this movie. I absolutely loved him in this movie. He did an absolutely fantastic job in the film. Ben Foster. Ben Foster was great, too. Seriously, I loved Ben Foster in this movie. Um, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges was great, too. This might be his best performance since True Great. Like, seriously, it really might be. He was absolutely fantastic in this movie. I loved Jeff Bridges in Hella High Water. You know, like I said, the main thing I loved about this movie was just how they focused on characters. Like, how they focused on characters. And the way they do it is absolutely brilliant with this film and it's absolutely incredible seriously if you haven't seen this movie just go out and see it seriously it deserves your support it's an absolutely fantastic movie so yeah so hello high water comes at number three number two number two on my list is when our heroes are divided they must fight and that number two is captain america civil war captain america civil war you know, I saw this in the theater, I was watching this in the theater, just sitting there going, wow, they did it again. Like, they did it again. Like, 
It just amazes me how much Marvel can just make perfection at this point. Seriously, they make perfection at this point. And this is our prime example of it. Seriously, I absolutely love this movie. This is one of Marvel's best. They did an absolutely fantastic job with the story. The story is absolutely incredible with this movie. I thought the acting was great from everybody, from Chris Evans to Robert Downey Jr. to Sebastian Stan, Ch uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman, um, Tom Holland. Just everybody was great in this movie. And I absolutely love how this movie tells you not to be on one side. You can understand from both sides, from their, both of their perspectives, you can understand. Like you're like... Captain America's right here, but also Tony Stark is right at this point. You know what I mean? Like, you both, you understand both sides. And I absolutely love that with the movie. And the conflict is great. It's very fleshed out. It's very well written. Written? Written. I just love that. How they handle the conflict and everything. The, the action scenes are fantastic. Holy moly. The action scenes are great. Um, the airport scene, for example, fantastic. But the best action scene is the end action scene to me. Just the emotion that went into it and just seeing what happens in that scene is just brutal to watch. And I absolutely loved it. That might be my best action scene of the year. Fantastic. So yeah, my number two is Captain America Civil War. Now the moment you have all been waiting for, the number one best movie of 2016. What could it be? I'm pretty sure all of you know what it is because it's the only movie I haven't mentioned yet. And my number one mo best movie of 2016 is... Deadpool. There was no other movie in 2016 that seriously blew me away like Deadpool. Deadpool is a masterpiece. Not only to comic book movies, but to movies in general. Like, seriously, Deadpool has to be... This has to be the best comic book movie since The Avengers. Like, seriously, this movie is absolutely brilliant on the way they make fun of superhero movies and some movies just in general. Like, seriously. And the, it's brilliant. Every joke works in this movie. And every joke, even at some point, you're like... That's seriously true. Like, when he starts making fun of something about a comic book movie or a movie in general, you're like, he's got a point, that's true. And you're just sitting there laughing because it's brilliant. And the way he breaks the fourth wall and stuff was great. The movie is just brilliant. With this comedy, seriously, I was dying of laughter. Seriously, there was no other comedy that made me laugh much harder than, than Deadpool. And... I thought the acting was great too. Ryan Reynolds knocks it out of the park in this movie. Seriously, this might be his best performance he's ever had. He he embraces Deadpool. He embraced the character of Deadpool. You know, he wanted this movie to be made for so long, and he finally did. And guess what? Just, he did an absolutely fantastic job. I absolutely loved him as Deadpool. He did a fantastic job in this movie. And I love how the movie balances... Like, this movie is all sorts of genres. This movie's a superhero movie. This movie's an action film. A comedy movie. Um, a romantic movie. A drama. And it balances all those elements so well. It doesn't feel like a mess. Like, when some other films try to, like, do all types of different genres in one film, it feels like a mess. But however, in this movie, it works. And they flesh it out so well. And they're able to balance that with the movie. And I absolutely love that about the film. Seriously, the writing is... The, the writing's fantastic. It's brilliant. Tim Miller did an absolutely great job directing this movie. This has to be, like, in the top five best directorial debuts of all time. Seriously, he just knocked it out of the park with this movie. Guys, Deadpool is an absolutely fantastic movie. The action is fantastic. The comedy is brilliant. The acting is tremendous the writing is great the directing is fantastic everything about this movie is great this is not only the best comic book movie of 2016 to me it's the best movie overall in 2016 there was no other movie that blew me away more than deadpool seriously i loved it and it's just a fantastic movie and yeah that's all i really gotta say Deadpool is a fantastic movie, and it definitely deserves my number one spot for 2016.
So guys, that was my top 10 best movies of 2016 list. Hopefully you all enjoyed that list. Seriously, I had a fun time making this video. It was great telling you guys what were my best movies of 2016. And then tomorrow, top 10 worst movies of 2016. Lord help me. Anyway, so, thank you guys for watching this top 10 best movies of 2016. Let's work your top 10 best movies of 2016. Leave it in the comment section below, and I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you out later. Peace.